Welcome to the State University of New York at Fredonia. I'm Angela. And I'm Devon. We're students here, and we're going to give you a look at what the Faculty Student Association and the Finance and Administration Division have prepared for you. These organizations, along with the students you'll meet, will give some helpful advice that will make your first semester on campus a great one. The Faculty Student Association is known as the FSA. It's a not-for-profit organization that reinvests proceeds in the form of scholarships and student programs. Last year alone, they reinvested over a million dollars to benefit the students of Fredonia. The FSA runs the university bookstore, the convenience store, and all the dining services. They also manage all of the cafes and vending services on campus. The washers, dryers, and cable television in the residence halls are also all provided courtesy of the FSA. Their main job is to improve your campus experience, and all that starts with your Fred card. Your Fred card will be created right here in the FSA offices at Gregory Hall. You use your Fred card all over campus all day every day. Your Fred card will help keep you connected to campus services. It will be the key to your residence hall and allows you to do things like make photocopies and check out library books. It also allows you to access three important accounts Fred funds, your meal plan, and your debit account. The first account on your FRED card is FRED funds. You can use this account to make purchases on or off campus. If an area business displays this sign, you can use the money you've put in your FRED funds to make the purchase. You can put money in your FRED funds account by visiting the FSA's main office in Gregory Hall or by going to one of the value ports on campus. Value ports are easy to use. Simply insert your FRED card along with the amount of cash you'd like to add to your FRED funds. You can also go to myfredcard.com and deposit money directly into your account. And yes, there's even an app for that. Fred funds are great because they allow you to budget your on and off campus spending and they cannot be used to purchase alcohol, tobacco, or lottery tickets. Your meal plan is the next account on your Fred card. All meal plans are designed with convenience in mind. The FSA has already simplified the process by designing and assigning a specific meal plan to all first semester resident students. This plan allows you the freedom to eat anywhere on campus so you could grab breakfast at a cafe or the convenience store, lunch at Centerpoint, and then relax for all you care to eat dinner tailored to your taste at the Cranston Marche. This plan is available to all students who want to personalize their meal preferences seven days a week. The third way your Fred card can help you make purchases is through your debit account. A Fredonia debit account is different than a bank account. Your Fredonia debit account is your campus spending account. It's designed to let you easily purchase textbooks and other items in the university bookstore, the vending machines, and at the central ticket office for campus shows and events. You can even use your debit account to get bus tickets for out-of-town travel. Adding funds to your debit account during orientation is easy, and you won't even need cash because the amount you select will be itemized along with tuition on your semester bill. You can place up to $1,000 in your debit account at one time, and since your debit account is part of your semester bill, you can use financial aid to help fund the account. Any unused funds from the fall semester will roll over. And if you don't use all your funds, you can request a refund at the end of the spring semester. The FSA has created an online portal called My FSA, where you can manage these accounts and services. Three accounts, one card. Priceless. All of Fredonia's cafes are supplied fresh each day from the FSA's on-campus scratch bake shop. Believe me, you want to try this. Here, don't mind if I do. The FSA knows the campus is on the go, so they design unique cafes and food stores with me and you in mind. Thank yeah. you. We're in Thompson Hall, at the hybrid store that was specifically designed for this campus. Fred Express combines the ease of a cafe with the grab and go of a convenience store. <laughs> the key word <laughs> is convenience. Cranston Marche is where you can have it your way, with a made-to-order dining experience seven days a week. On the main floor is a convenience store, and right next door is a Starbucks. Around campus, you'll find McEwen Cafe, Mason Cafe, and Fenton Cafe. You'll also find the Centerpoint Food Court with its diverse menu offerings from pizza to subs to sushi. Next to Centerpoint is El Diablo Azul. This Mexican grill will spice up your meal options with fresh ingredients and in everything from rice bowls to burritos to salads and quesadillas. Mm. Complete with carnitas, cookies, and vegetarian options. El Diablo Azul could be your little slice of heaven on campus. Get it? It's El Diablo, but it's heaven. 
Yeah, they get it. He has a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> These lime chips are heavenly. Ooh. He's here for a reason. T-Rex is the only cafe on campus where you can get a hibiscus breeze, matcha, and chai tea lattes, and a variety of fruit teas. But what makes T-Rex really special is the bubble tea. Time for a refill. We mentioned that your meal plan allows you to personalize your preferences. So let's take a look at how that works. Your plan allows you a set number of meals each week and a set number of points for the semester. Meals and points can be used separately or combined at various locations around campus. Meals can be used in the Cranston Marche, which is the all-you-care-to-eat dining facility. You can also use your meals at nearly every other retail food venue on campus where they are converted into an allowance. Points can be used to purchase food and beverages at all food venues on campus, including Starbucks, Fred Express, the Convenience Store, the FSA Cafes, Tim Hortons, Center Point, the concession areas, and even Cranston Marche if you are out of meals. Points are like culinary cash. Let's say my lunch today cost $7. My Fred card would be scanned and I would pay $7 using the points on my meal plan. The points on meal plans will roll over from the fall to spring semester. As long as an appropriate meal plan is selected for the spring semester, your points do not roll over from spring semester into the following fall. So you need to be sure to use them all before the end of the academic year. You can spend a maximum of 50 points a day, so be sure to budget your points accordingly throughout the course of the semester. And don't worry, if you're running low on points, it's easy to add more at myfredcard.com or at the FSA office. Your meal plan is a contract for the entire academic year. Another big benefit of using your meal plan to pay for food on campus is that you don't need to carry cash, so your Fred card can be your wallet. You could carry cash or a credit card, but when you're using your meal plan, food costs less because New York State does not charge any tax. All meal plans also give you the option of five feed-a-friend meals each semester, which you can use to treat guests in Cranston Marche. Ready, Oscar? Your meals won't roll over from week to week, so each Sunday the number of meals on your plan is reset. Meals and points can seem like a lot to take in, but your orientation packet explains both in detail along with the payment options that go with them. You can also go to fsa.ferdonia.edu. There you'll find menus, nutrition information, and the hours for all food venues. You can stay connected by going to FSA of Ferdonia on Facebook, FSA Ferdonia on Twitter, and FSA Fredonia on Instagram. This is University Commons. It's home to two of several campus ATMs, the convenience store, Starbucks, and the university bookstore. The bookstore is full of Fredonia fashion, specialty items, school supplies, computer equipment, and a whole lot more. You can also shop online at fredoniabookstore.com. Textbooks will be high on your priority list, and the FSA has several convenient ways for you to rent or buy your books at competitive prices. You can compare prices in the campus bookstore to other online retailers. And the online store allows you to use your credit card or your Fredonia debit account. The FSA also has a creative way for you to get all your books. It's also the most convenient and cost-effective, and it's free. Use your Fredonia debit account to get a textbook prepack. The textbook prepack organizes all your textbooks, allowing you to pick them up in one convenient package right here in the bookstore. The prepack is how you can get the first choice of all the used textbooks. One more way that you can save. To sign up for prepack, you'll need a minimum of $600 in your debit account. The cost of your books will automatically be deducted from your debit account. And since your debit account is connected to your semester bill, the cost of your textbooks can be deferred to your financial aid. The Residence Hall Survival Kit is the second specialty service and combines connectivity with organizational helps for your residence hall as well as your book bag. The Survival Kit was designed specifically for first semester resident freshmen. Be sure to check out your debit account brochure to see what's included in the kit. Sign up for the Survival Kit at fsa.fredonia.edu. The cost of the kit will be automatically deducted from your debit account. Now that you know some of the services provided by the FSA, we want to introduce you to some of what the Finance and Administration Division has in store for you here on campus. And all that starts in student accounts. The decision to go to college is a huge one, so I want to personally congratulate you for investing in your future. My family thought long and hard about which school to invest in for my future, and we chose Fredonia. And Fredonia has an amazing financial support system in place that can help you manage your college investment. Your semester e-bill includes tuition and fees, housing, your meal plan, and your debit account. 
Your fall semester bill is available in mid-July and the bill is due August 15th. All bills are paperless and notifications arrive at your fredonia.edu email address when an e-bill is created. Parents and others can be added as authorized users to receive notifications and make payments. Text message notification is also available. You can make payments at fredonia.edu through your connection using MasterCard, Visa, Discover, American Express, or WebCheck. Payments can also be made by mail or in person with MasterCard, Visa, Discover, American Express, check, or cash. For some, financial aid will help cover the cost of college. Excess financial aid can be deposited directly into your bank account. Other students will have to pay some or all of their bills while in school. For those students, it's important to know about the Fredonia Installment Payment Plan. The Fredonia Installment Payment Plan allows you to pay your semester bill in two, three, or four payments with no interest. There is a small application fee due with the initial installment upon enrollment. To find student accounts, click Students on the SUNY Fredonia homepage and search under Tuition and Billing. Here you can look over frequently asked questions, download forms, and view payment information at your own pace. Or you can call student accounts. They'll be glad to help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You, you too. too. Student Accounts works closely with the Financial Aid Office and can help you understand residency and Perkins promissory notes. Along with TAP grants, state scholarships, and other sources that are waiting to help you fund your college education. A second service that Finance and Administration provides is an inter-campus transport system called the Park and Ride. If you're bringing a car to campus, be sure to use the Park and Ride. It's fast, friendly, and free. The Park and Ride Shuttle makes parking easier on campus because you never have to hunt for a good parking spot. The Park and Ride runs two buses, connecting the Williams Center and Maidom Hall to the Park and Ride lot throughout the day. Across from the Park and Ride lot and next to the soccer stadium is the overnight parking area for students who have a car and live on campus. It's about a 10 minute walk to the residence halls from here, so each night the student escort bus provides free rides back to the residence halls. For those of you who don't have a car on campus, the campus community bus connects campus with the surrounding area. So no matter where you are or what your transportation situation, there's a bus on campus headed your way. Remember going to camp as a kid? Woodland trails, wildlife, and outdoor classes? Well, that memory could become a reality again, and it's only a 20-minute drive from campus. The Fredonia College Lodge is located high in Chautauqua's Hill Country, about eight miles from campus. The lodge is set on more than 200 acres and is the place for student groups, volunteer projects, class trips, or adventures with friends. There's a sleeping lodge, and there's even a state-of-the-art challenge course. The FSA installed two natural gas wells along with environmentally friendly solar panels to make sure your visit is as green as possible. To make a reservation for a student group, a class, or a department activity, log on at collegelodge.com. The possibilities up here are endless. For most students, having a job while they're in college is a given, and one of the best jobs you can have on campus is working for the FSA. The FSA provides incentives for student employees, like Student of the Month, Student Leader. Student employees can even schedule work hours around class times. Applications for employment with the FSA are available at fsa.fredonia.edu. The FSA has other job openings as well. Opportunities are available in catering, the university bookstore, the convenience store, Tim Hortons, and other FSA cafes. You don't have to be eligible for work study to apply because employment with the FSA is not based on financial need. As an FSA employee, you'll develop skills that will help you be successful in today's marketplace. If you're interested in applying, visit the FSA offices in Gregory Hall. You can do that as early as today. There are also lots of job opportunities through individual departments and campus programs in the residence halls and through the college work-study program. If you're interested in working as a lifeguard, in the fitness center, the mailroom, the library as a tutor, or assisting in an academic department, be sure to stop by and let them know. You can also check out the Career Development Office's Student Employment website for other job openings on campus. The earlier this semester you apply, the better your chances are of getting hired. And don't worry, this is all outlined in your orientation packet. We hope that your time on campus will provide you with future success and give you the confidence and experience that you'll need to succeed. And remember, if you have any questions, just look at your packet and check out fredonia.edu or fsa.fredonia.edu. You'll find answers to your questions about life on campus, opportunities with the FSA, and it will soon be 
your Fredonia experience. If you're planning on bringing a car to campus, you'll need to register it using the green form in your packet. And if you take that registration form to the information desk during orientation, they'll hand you your parking permit and the campus parking rules right then and there. If you decide you want to return a textbook, you can get a full refund during the first five days of classes, but be sure you have your receipt. If you wrote in your textbook, it becomes a used textbook, which means you won't get a full refund. After the first five days of classes, you can sell your textbook at current market value, or you can take it to the book buyback at the end of each semester. If you have specific dietary needs, be sure to notify the Disability Support Services Office so that the FSA can be better prepared with food that meets your needs. And no matter what your diet, be sure to act responsibly. Eat what you take and recycle what's left. And please, treat your Fred card responsibly, as if it were your campus wallet. But if it's ever lost or stolen, you can go to myfredcard.com, head over to Gregory Hall or the convenience store, and they'll deactivate your card and help you get a new one. And remember, FSA is only a phone call or email away. So relax. If we made it, so will you.